So this is what war looks like. Not what the stories make it out to be. The capital, Megara. If the leader's anywhere, he'll be here. You there. You have a kind soul. Help an old man buy his next meal. If you knew the things I've done, you wouldn't be so quick to call me kind. Nonsense. Your soul is greater than the sum of your actions, stranger. Tell me, what do they call you? I'm the messenger of Zeus, but you can call me Cassandra. And you are? Just a simple beggar. I sailed from Persia to see the beauty of the Greek world. I can do many things, Persian, but I can't restore sight. Nor would I want you to. My blindness is a burden that the gods have given me to carry, and I will. Then what? Be my eyes. When I was a boy, an Athenian told me the most beautiful tales of your lands. I would love to hear them again. Would you go see the places I never was able to, and return to tell me the tale of your adventures? I'm not much of a storyteller, but I will be your eyes. I knew I sensed kindness in you. You've made this old Persian happy again. Don't thank me yet. What places do you wish you could have seen? Ah, my favorite tales were always of the Acrocorinth. The statues of Zeus and Athena, the perch of the armored bird in Arcadia, and of course, the mysterious mount Taigetos. There are many statues to Athena. Which one do you mean? In my mind, there is only one. Her story always began. As we rounded the hilltops, we could see Athens bustling below us, and Athena above, matching our gaze. You did say Mount Taietos, didn't you? You sound like you know that place. I have heard tales of its appetites. They say the mountain feeds on the suffering of Spartans, so the people there offer their own children to the mountain god for sacrifice. That... that's not exactly right. The Acrocorinth... don't tell me. It's in Corinthia. Smart guess. 
It is the most renowned temple to Aphrodite, your goddess of all life's most pleasurable trivialities. What do you remember about this armored bird in Arcadia? There's a beast made of armor jutting out from the mountainside overlooking Lake Stymphalos and the undulating fields stretching like waves on a golden sea all across Arcadia. So tell me what you know about the statue of Zeus. Its great boat stood ready to punish the Kefalonians below. Or so I was told. I've seen Kefalonia from the statue of Zeus. Tell me, is it still a place of great beauty? Yes, the island is beautiful. From the statue of Zeus, you can see the sea hitting the white beaches and the mountains covered in green. But its people suffer because of the war. Ah, just how it was described to me. The gods simultaneously bless the land and curse the people. Even for gods, your gods are cruel, Miss Theos. Okay, I've told you what I remember. Now tell me about yourself. What's a Persian doing here? Persia and the Greek world are doomed to be opposites. In times of prosperity here, Persians always seem to suffer. And when you're at war with yourselves... Persians know peace? Indeed. My people prospered after King Xerxes was murdered. All except for me. A man tried to kill me with poison, which is how I lost my sight. I fled and arrived here. I find it hard to believe anyone would want you dead. You're very kind. Tell me another tale, then I'll tell you more of my past. I'll be back with stories to tell. As soon as you've seen one location, please return. This papyrus is so old. Could this be writing by Themistocles? Uh, I see you have good taste.
Let me know if you need anything else. Off we go now.